Sandland, the land of sand. Hey! Hello and welcome, it's Chris back with yet another fragrance review, a special one, and I'm being late. In good Irish tradition, I'm being late because Paddy's Day was five days ago, um, but I'm still coming to you with a review of a full-blooded Irish fragrance launched by the House of Fragrances of Ireland, that's a, that's a surprise, right, called Patrick. Now. But first, I have to tell you about my emotional ties to this wonderful Emerald Island, okay? I used to live there for a number of years, between 2004 and 2008. Um, I regularly uh, revisit the place. Uh, I have many friends there and actually do work for an Irish company as well. So I'm, I consider myself um, one-third Irish, okay? One-third German, one-third Hungarian, one-third Irish. Sometimes I get a little bit of a... Uh, of uh, comment there, there is some Irish twang in my in my uh, in, in the way I speak or pr pronounce, and I'm, the only thing I can say that uh, the company I work for is based in Finglas, North, Northern uh, Northern North Dublin, basically. Kind of a rough area, but I still love it. Uh, and, and there, so what's the story now, Hort? How's the story? How's the crack going? That's a type of Irish, okay? Uh, Irish accent that uh, is very much uh, going on in the north side, which I truly love. But I used to live in South Dublin, in Portobello, which I love even more. Nice area, very nice. Mmm, Portobello. So I love South Dublin, I love North Dublin, I love Malahide, Hoth, I love the west of Ireland, um, Westport, Galway, Eckill Island, okay? So you can see I have strong emotional ties to its people and to the country itself and obviously to this fragrance why because it represents ireland very well um and the name already okay um uh, the patron saint of uh of of ireland okay saint patrick patty's day that's what we celebrate on the 17th of march of each year now that's the box patrick again fragrances of ireland is the brand okay and this fragrance is something special dedicated um to Patrick and to Ireland, um, you St. Patrick and Ireland, uh, as being written up here, and a classic Irish man's fragrance favored for over 30 years now. The rich masculine scent of Patrick is both earthy and green, with fresh notes of fern and pine, warmed up with oak moss and patchouli. Oh, wow. That's a, you can already sense by that. That's a that's a that's a big one, right? Inspired by Ireland's patron saint, who arrived on Irish shores in the fifth century A.D. Okay, our Patrick design is based on the Book of Kells, um, an iconic example of Celtic art. There you go again. I had to give this to you uh, because it's really part of the entire marketing part of the package. And as for the fragrance. Classy, straightforward, uh, masculine bottle there, and a fantastic, very green smelling. Hope you don't tilt over there, Patrick. Too much gin is not good for you there. Ah, so how's it smell? Well, I read you the the uh, the notes. You can already guess. It's green to no end, aromatic, and herbal, fresh. Um, I smell some citrus in there. I think there is, uh, to make it a bit more customer friendly, okay? Bit of citrus and it actually lingers for a while. So I'm sure there's some bergamot or some, some, some sort of citrus in there at the beginning, but definitely fern, uh, pine, yes, patchouli, yes. Oak moss, yes. So there you have it, it's earthy, herbal, um, green to no end. Green, green, just like Ireland, as we would imagine walking through the woods and fields of the Irish countryside. I think that is the image that sticks to this fragrance very much if you smell it. Very outdoors, um, very much uh, relaxing. I use this on the weekends, uh, going out. Um, again, to me, it's an outdoors fragrance, uh, but even if you, it's even as good as aromatherapy, honestly, because you just close your eyes, smell this, and you're up. Up on the you know up on the uh, rocks of, uh, of of Hoth or at Malahide Beach or, or Cliffs of Moher or whatever you want to wherever you want to or the wonderful Key Beach in um, 
in Achill, um, or just having a pint in Galway, okay, anywhere in Ireland. Totally transports you there. It, it's, it's, a, it's a travel machine, okay? Um, I've seen some comparisons, okay, because there's many prominent fragrances in this genre, and um, two of them make sense to me. First and foremost, um, Green Water by Jacques Faf. That is almost um, equal to this one or this to that one, you can argue, okay? Um, but they smell um, very similar, okay? It also resembles Paco Rabanne Bourgogne a bit, okay? With this green, mossy, piney fern um, uh, blend, but this is more wearable because it, it, it misses the honey note that is in, in Paco Rabanne Bourgogne and it makes it a bit challenging for me to wear. It's not present here, so this is a more straightforward uh, green, fern, pine occasion here, okay? And so I'm gonna switch this off. I'm not gonna let people disturb me in my review of Patrick, okay? So this is how it is. It's it's just it's just so beautiful and uh, and so green and so uplifting. It's fresh, but in, in in a green aromatic way, okay? And that calls for the outdoors. Walk your dog, you know, in the woods and fields, wherever you are, spray this on and you're gonna be elevated to to a wonderful green heaven, I must, I must almost say, really. And in terms of, I picked this, off at, uh, picked this up at Dublin Airport for like, well, what was it, 25 euro or something, 100 mil bottle, great price versus quality ratio, okay? Because this is just uh, a great performing fragrance. Uh, great silicon projection, um, very much present, um, and a great, great longevity as well, especially on hair and clothes and all that. It's, it's there, lingers, and is there with you the entire day. If you spray it on and need to close, it's gonna radiate. It has everything a good order toilet, need, order toilet needs to have. And the composition, the blend itself, is just perfectly Irish, okay? So totally lives up to its name. And at this stage, over 30, 30 years to its reputation as well. So very proud to be Irish there. Uh, come on the boys in green, come on the boys in green. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deep dive into there. I might just go out and have a crack with the lights now. Okay, so uh, <laughs> take. I may I really. I, I need to have a pint at this stage. I think I, I'm telling you. Okay, too much work is not good for you. Okay, so uh, thanks very much, uh, Slon, and later on Slonche. See you soon for another review. Long live the Irish. <laughs>